Evening peeps, welcome to Ep 20. In this one we're just going to finish off basically all the quests we started, all the quest lines we started last time. So we're going to start off for... Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember that. Yeah, 156 in search of an inny, so finishing off the um, Stormwave and Erin quest line. And we're also going to finish off the proper Stormwave quest line as well. So 156, 157 and then 163, and I know the ending and I'm still excited. And these three as well, the Coffin Well, the one in Quarantine, and then the finale of Gorbsy Purvis. I, I think now that we've done the um, the one with Yor, we can just get this straight from either Patty or Eric. I can't remember. Great timing, there we go. Judging for the Innies has finally started. Wow! King Scott himself. More worried about Eren? Oh dear. Most important guest ever. I can't remember who that is. It must have been like 10 years since I've done this quest. Remember this? Uh, astral Plume, Technicolor Dream Cross. Right. I think I've probably got an Astral Plume on me. Birdsong Nectar. I think that you can make that an alchemy. And a Brilliant Biscuit. Um, I have no idea how I make that. <laughs> no poos? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, what's that beyond the. Um, Back of the church pew. Oh, I picked something up there. Let me just have a look at what. Oh, oh, that was some brilliant biscuits. That is, oh, that is so lucky. Yes, I have cheated. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. I killed like twenty gem jamborees. It took over an hour. <laughs> I didn't get the biscuit drop. That's how you do it, anyway. I can't be asked to do it properly now. All right, we have everything we need. The other stuff you make doing alchemy. Yes, I have every one of your luxury items. They were obtained through hard graft. Here you go, Arian. At least we actually get to enjoy the quest now. Honestly, it's a five minute quest with two hours of filler. It's just, here we go. Finally a cutscene. There you go. No worries. I obtained them fair and square. In fact... You're right, sir. Is he pissed? Is this a test? Oh, she's giving the stuff to him. That's very sweet. Is this King Scott in disguise? Well, there's King Scott. Please say it was a test. <laughs> Please don't say I wasted those items. It just took me fucking hours to obtain. Filthy rogue, oh dear, the king's not happy. Kathy's not sure about it. What's the result gonna be? For the prick slash whatever it was, is that it? The king? Amazing. Uh, the king is happy after all. He's received the same treatment as any other customer. Ah, there we go. He is someone in disguise. Who is he? What? <laughs> I don't remember this. Okay, that is the king in disguise. Thank fuck. Oh, it wasn't a waste after all. There we go. One hour's grind in which we cheated at the end anyway, just to see that cutscene. Oh god. Right, at least the next one is, I think you just have to kill 20 Octagoons. They're not rare. Ooh, veterans on. Yeah. That's not Victorious armor. Fucking hell, Patty. Oh well. Yeah, the next one you just have to kill 20 Octagoons. It's not a rare drop or anything. And they're not rare creatures. Oh, at least I can do this one. <laughs> I'm not going to run out of patience on this. The nominations for the Innies have arrived so much. Here goes nothing. I have the pleasure of inviting you to the attend the Innie finals. Wow. And another fucking pun. However, I still need to prove how good it takes. Next partner, register at Stormway Castle. 
Oh, Erin wants me. I'm a natural choice. I'm delighted to hear that. I accept. Head over to the castle. Well, let's go. I can't remember the story of this one at all. I think this is where Igor gets involved. Is it Igor or Igor? I can't remember. <laughs> but he's not a part of the story throughout the whole quest since Angel Falls from the very first place you're in. I think he's back in this one. Yeah, there you go, there he is. So a bit of story development at last. Will the relationship between Erin and Igor get explored? Igor slash Igor. I genuinely can't remember. Oh, they're standing with each other. So I remember the inn from Bloomingdale gets involved as well. Flowery beds in. Oh, flowery beds. It's runner-up. Pete. There we go. Oh, it is Ivor. There you go. He's taken the inn world by storm. Erin. It's the old... Like in the background. Is that Erin's grandfather? He's just working with Ivor now? Explain the rules of the final. Yes, of course it's a grotto. Oh god. Octagoon holds the key. And I am probably the only one here capable of killing them. <laughs> if you're defeated in battle, your friends won't be able to find the item that represents it in Keithing Star. I presume that means the hero has to survive? Don't really know. Here we go. That's as good as mine. 100% flirting, that boy. I'm just happy we've got some quest development, to be honest, and some story development in these characters. Because I've not done a playthrough where I've got this far in the quests since, like, 10 years ago. So actually seeing these characters interact again that's not just in the Angel Fall scenes is nice, it's pleasant. Oh, there we go. I've gone to the correct grotto this time. <laughs> Let's go and find some octagoons. Here's to winning the innies. Ah oh, yes, this will do. Right, give me some octagoons. Please. <laughs> They're the most common annoying enemy in the whole game. There we go. Right, here is one of 20. I might just one of them in the just so that this is going to be an insta kill. I'm barely doing any damage to the gladiators. Give me a demon spear, just so you might kill him in one shot. God, <laughs> didn't expect that to work so quickly. Beated one octagoon, one out of 20. Final one. At least there's no RNG associated with this quest, it's just kill 20. Then you're done. Pray to God, come on, don't die. Ah, thug. And there we go. Right, there's 20 out of 20. Full quota of 20. I don't think the quest actually tells you there's 20. I only knew that from sort of Googling. Let's see what we get. <laughs> what an animation. Didn't drop anything. Uh, is it going to be some divine point about how you work hard and that's the whole point? Is it teamwork? <laughs> I bet it's fucking teamwork. Why is it not a set of legendary armour? That's all anyone wants. Back we go, I think straight back to the castle. Right, predictions. I've always gonna say something about how he found an item of some sort, maybe a weapon or a moon Yggdrasil leaf, something like that. Or some armor. Uh right, let's put some proper music on. There you go. Um yeah, the the other teams are all gonna say oh no a weapon. We are gonna say teamwork, because we're twats. There's the others. Go on then. 
let's have this age three moral point of a story. What's people? Oh, the magic beast hive. Wow. What a dick. That young Ivor. Must be platinum ore. Rare, refined, expensive, and exclusive. So this is the owner of the Angel Falls Inn, which was like the most rundown one of them all. Can't show you the thing. I think what's most important is hard work and support of all the people around him. Yay. Who's that? It's Grandpa. Chairman? Wow, he betrayed Ivor. <laughs> oh, my. Ready to announce the results. It's Erin! Wow! At least the main story was a bit less basic than this. Wow, Erin's won the trophy! Did she just kiss me? What the fuck? I hope that was meant to be like a hug. They can't be bothered to like draw that sort of thing in 3D. <laughs> Jesus. There's no love interest in this game. Only love interest in Dragon Quest. Worth considering is Medea in 8. Uh, oh, what, what do we do now? Thank you for my award. Yes, yes. Well done, me. Hope I'll continue to be of assistance. Uh, are there any more questions? Oh, there's the finale. I know what happens already. Right, let's chuck the traditional in music back on. Right, let's wrap up this one and then we actually let's just see this. Oh god, what do you want now? I'll take you on more adventures. Oh god. Fine, yes, yes. Erin joins the party. Wow. This would be an interesting idea. I'm never going to level these guys up because I can't bother. Well, but one did level up already. But I might just sort of pack them in with the save editor and try and do some special shit. Like have a team of Patty, Erin, and Selma. I don't think you can ever recruit Jimmy. But yeah, I might just make a team out of them, just set them to level 99 and see what they can do. Um, and we'll do that now with. Yeah, I just want to get rid of them. Let's drop off Edward again, stick Erin in the party. Let's see what she can do. I hope it's not all this work for a, a level one. Arian, yeah, level one mage. Fuck me. <laughs> yes. Right, let's just take her out then. Why is she level one? Why is Patty level 30? Or <laughs> Aaron one. Erin and Selma both level one. Right, Selma holds her own in like one of the quests as well. She like fends off two criminals. <laughs> all right, she, all right, she's got frizz. Let's just see this then. Go on, Erin. Wow. <laughs> she didn't just get killed instantly. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. I think that will do. Uh, actually, does she have anything we can steal? Is she worth it after all? No, not really. <laughs> yeah. I doubt these items have any stats. Oh god, Erin without a hat. No, have it back, Jesus. No. Alright, Erin's out here, it's too much defense in there. No, you can have that back. Boots. Is that 2.5? That's not terrible, to be honest. But no, she can keep them. We're not going to steal her stuff. We've stolen Patty's stuff, and that will do. Drop Erin back off. Is she the last? No, she's not. I was going to say, is she the last of the um, party members that you get from Quest? She's not. I oh, know what's happening. Bye, Erin. Oh, I think we 
Thanks for the follow. Got a friend. Edward, please. I need to remember to give him back the straw. Otherwise, I'm going to get to a boss. Oh, well, right, the finale, the inquests is a pavo. This fits my piano. It's been awaiting my arrival. Yes, I will hear it. It's known as a prayer part. It's a question for a destiny. Down to this location. Yes, I can go and get this pearl for you. Excalibur! I thank fuck I did that grotto earlier. It be nice and straightforward now. And we get another roll at the Victoria time. So, nothing, pretty much nothing given away from what he said so far. Even though I know what happened. Obviously, we've done, I think, all of the. Whatever that place is called. Demon Bale. Something. Bring it down. I think we've done all of those quests now. We still haven't like restored um, the place to. I forgot his name already. <laughs> we still haven't restored it back to like its presumably restored state. I I haven't googled whether or not that is possible, but I think no. Given that I think we've done most of the quests now. Although I might be wrong. There's a lot more in like the best diary that labels quest a uh, story in. So maybe there's something hidden in there that I've missed previously. Yeah, I think as soon as we're done with this episode, we will move on to the legacy bosses. Finally. I know it's taken so long. I <laughs> completed the story like two weeks ago, and I've not even seen so much as level one Baron boss yet. But I think next episode we'll do unlocking all of the legacy bosses, and then after that we'll start proper grinding. Get ourselves up to level 99, actually. We'll see how we get with that. I'll do it just like no revocations or any other things level to 99. I'll do it with just the vocations we are now to 99. See how far we get. I reckon we'll be able to do like the first six at level 99, maybe seven. Like Baron Moss Murder or Sorrow and Nimzo, I think quite low tier. Don't make us quite low, perhaps the one as well. There's no way in hell we'll be able to do like Dragon Ball, Vestar, Turner Stone, Zobar or Mauer. Oh, we're there already. This is quite a short dungeon for a big scale. Right, let's jump straight in. I don't think he caused us any bother last time, so we'll stick with just full steam ahead strategy. Not the worst time for this one. Um, no, what we will. Let's stick that on the unicorn. Get like a, I'll probably get a 47 when it comes out. I wonder if my computer's just gonna be like the speed up will go like down in a second. Fucking disrupt. Give it to me. Oh, oh, come on, please. Yes, come on. That was what, second, third kill? Oh, come on. And we got the prayer pearl as well. All right, that was my RNG. <laughs> I'm going to edit the rest of me trying to get the um <laughs> the Jamboree stuff out anyway. But my RNG for that was atrocious. We've recovered it now. Oh, let me put that on. Oh, God, I'm excited. Put it straight on. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. 
Ah, oh, turned into golem. Would you look at that? Fucking gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna have to take his helmet off. Oh, it looks even more heroic. Oh god. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, the RNG. It's paid off. It has paid off. So yeah, defensively, it's the upgraded variant anyway. Is I think the best arm in the game. There are like, some legacy bosses where other arms are. They have elements of superiority. But this will come as HP and MP as well, so it's ideal for pros. And it just looks incredible. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am happy. Right, now it is, actually. I'll leave this music on for now. This needs a bit of ambiance, this. So I'll just put... And then that one. Right. I've acquired the prayer for... And some victorious armor. Oh, to change a Celestrian's very fate. Delivered unto the mighty Celestria. I will answer the star's calling. Let us go to Celestria. Can I accompany you? That's fine, man. It's a bit like Angelo from Mate, I think. Like, I know what happens, because this is one of the most memorable parts of the post-game for me. But I don't know any of the details surrounding it. Like, at least ten years ago since I've last done this. Oh, would you look at that armour. <laughs> Celestria! How are you? Listening of a certain star brought you to me. But it did. Him. I wish Zack to revisit one of my most significant memories. Whose memory? Keep the stars cool. Yes. Move me into the memory. Yes. Whose memory is it? It's... Oh, we're not there yet. Oh, it's, it's Aquila and Corvus. So does this memory belong to Aquila or Corvus? I have no memory of this scene. I've never seen Corvus looking like this. I want his armour. That looks cool. This must be the only time you ever see Aquila and Corvus interact. Back on the observatory, can we wander around? I want to have a little look around. Cause it's been a while, we haven't been to the observatory since like the story of the game. We've never seen it in this condition before, it's always like nighttime or dark when you see it in the story. I imagine because of the attack and stuff. Can we go down here? No. Ah. Well I think that reveals that this memory does indeed belong to Aquila, or the Corvus then. Oh, do we get to speak to him? I'm mortal. How does a mortal come to be in a place such as this? Interesting. If I was truly mortal, I wouldn't be able to see him. I'd be of assistance. I'd give him the prayer pearl. So this is now the memory of Aquila. So this must be at least 300 years ago, because this is before Corvus was captured. To change one's destiny. Very amusing. He's smiling, he's accepting the gift, but he's not. He doesn't believe it'll work. So it looks like we planted the seed of them. Aquila's. Friendliness towards us. I've built the wishes. Wishing star was Corvus, what? He had wished to make amends to the pupil whose life was lost as a result of his actions. 
So it was Cor it was Corvus wishing that we explored Aquila's memory. This was his message message to me. His destiny's altered then. We must discover how Aquila saw it. Well, no worries, Selectra, but it's been unbothered working out that trash. I should cut it and loop it really, but I can't do Right, we need to go and find the Quiller then. His destiny has been changed, but how? I do love this armour, but I need the rest of the set now. <laughs> it doesn't look quite right with like budget gloves and boots. And the metal slime help. Metal slime stuff looks good on its own, but not mixed with red and gear. Right, so it was Corvus's wish then. So Corvus is still sort of holding on somehow, he hasn't moved on. There's the stellar quest. I'm not going to do that one just yet. I don't know where to go from here. I imagine back to Stormway to speak to Pavo. Looks like earlier in Starflight since we're familiar with already. Corvus's wish. So Aquila is fully dead at this point. And now Corvus's wish. We have gone back in time and altered Aquila's destiny. Corvus has been honoured. Return to the place of deepest meaning for you as your teacher. Strongest memories with Aquila. I imagine this then. I'll keep this music running. This will either be getting in Palace where he died or Angel Falls where we first parted in the game. I think it's Angel Falls, to be honest. I might be wrong. Out of here. Have you seen that angel anywhere? I will go and play our rivers actually, because he just lost it in Have you seen Corvus? Oh, who's that by the statue? It's him. It's Aquila. He's alive. He's become mortal, okay. I didn't remember that bit. That's me wearing the legendary armor. <laughs> so they killed each other. The jewel he was once given by a mysterious traveller began to glow. He prayed. There is his destiny changed. We've lost his celestial powers. I think this quest is the only time we've ever seen Aquila smile. It was me. Let us watch over the mortal realm together, now and forevermore. Aquila joins the party! He's alive! He is back! That was the quest I was waiting for. This was the, the real ending we wanted. Alright, I want to add him to the party list now. I wonder what... I don't know what vocation he um, takes on. Let's go and find out. Let's go and dump Edward again. Don't think there, no, there's no other Celestrians that will join the party. I was thinking if we wanted to do like a Celestrian only playthrough, then obviously he's more to know anyway. Alright, let's recruit. If I remember correctly, he's level 30, but I don't know if no, not that one. Well, uh, he's level 60. Ooh, I did not know that. He's higher than any of us. 
Here he comes. What items has he got? I had no idea he was that high level. But there you go. Oh, still look gorgeous. There you go, Aurora Brave. Bit rubbish, White Shield, bit rubbish. Is that any good defensively? It's got a fair bit to it. <laughs> Would wearing this make you feel like some kind of superior Celestrian? It just might, you know. Okay, those are just the normal black trousers and then boots. 4% evasion chance, that's not bad. But no, I'll let him keep them. So there you go. It's got like proper Celestial robe. I really want the um, white robes that Corvus had in the, <laughs> in the memory. Because those were looking sick. Maybe they are, maybe they are an item, I don't know. But... Right, let's see what he can do. I imagine he'll just administer one bangs. He's literally higher than all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt he'll hit as hard because we've got loads of skill points allocated. No. Oh. Well. There you go. If you want a quiller, <laughs> he's level 60 when you first get him. Which is not bad at all. How many skill points has he got? Oh, he's barely got any skill points. I suppose he's only got the one thing levelled up and... Fair play though. I don't think there's any more interaction you can have with Aquila beyond that, but there we go. We brought him back. We've rescued him. It's a shame you can't do Corvus as well. I'm almost 100% sure. I mean, th this quest kind of suggested that Corvus moved on once you give Aquila the necklace, whatever it was. Right, Edward back please. Now, are there any more story characters that can join the party in the quest? I'm f very sure that Ginny can't. I just wish like the characters in up the elevator here would. I mean, we can probably like customize such that they pretty much look identical anyway. And just change everyone's names. But I'm not going to do that in this playthrough. I think the next playthrough I do of this game, which will inevitably like be in six months' time. <laughs> When I play it through again, I will just make everyone the Dragon Quest 8 characters. Just give them all the items. Um, right. So that is all of the in-quests finished now. And we're going to finish off the Stormway ones as well. So it looks like we've actually finished the Stormway arc of that quest line. Let's move on to the Coffin one. This one? Yes, here we go. Right, this is the quest we need to do before the Coffin one. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. I think it's just full platinum, isn't it? Platinum sword, shield, mail, headgear. Right. Um, I can't remember where all of them are off the top of my head. So I think one of them's in Bloomingdale. I think you can make them as well. Um, yeah, I'll go Bloomingdale first. Right, let's get this silly music off. Oh, we need to go back to eight. There we go. <laughs> this music is just the king. It's, the song is just the king of all Dragon Quest songs. Um, right, I think you get Platinum Sword from here. There we go. Um, no, it's well beyond that one now. Um, arm Shop is down here. I don't think I've ever bought anything from this one. Platinum Shield, there we go. That's another bit. Platinum headgear, there we go, lovely. Right, there we go, that should work. Let me see what this looks like. Ooh. Hey. I still don't really know how to pronounce that business, even though I'm like a decent fan of Greek. Yeah. I'll have your things. Yes. I'll have to look back. It's not really all I get. <laughs> I trade it all full platinum for a divine dress. And it's only equipable by sages. What a fuck! It you can buy it in the store my shop anyway. I had to give up full platinum for it. Right, anyway, Fleming. The Arzan Fortress. Mm. Off 
perfect weather in the Kitchen Empire related. It's interesting. I shall certainly do that now that I can actually accept your quest. <laughs> More conundrum. I don't know if Katarina says anything different at this though. No, I didn't like it. Or visit from the heavens. So just in case, I, I probably cut that bit out of the video. I tried to do this quest before the previous one. So it's the thing she says there kind of suggests that ghosts that have moved on can still come back. So I think she moves on, that is in dies as a ghost in the main story. Obviously she's back now. And what she suggested there was that they can come back any time. So I think that's the case for the ghost of Swine Devils Academy as well, because he appears in a future quest. It's also the case for the We haven't seen him since he died for the second time. I don't know who else. Who else is a ghost that dies in the story and comes back in the later game? I can't think of anyone. Yeah, so the lore of ghosts in this game is rather a little bit off. Bookshelf we want is the one far right over here. The Encyclopedia Gitanica. That's what we want. Let's bring this back to the Fleming. Uh, I'll use it back to go. I bought a hundred, so I might as well use them. Still thinking about the um, Queen of Cleavers, the ghost of her dad, seeing the Plum of Deadlands. Because he must have more of a story behind him. Yes, it is indeed. Yeah. It's nice to see these two back together, even though she is dead and she's there as a ghost. Although, the wise and much loved king of the Gittish people. The king was slain and his remains interred in the quarantine. Right, I made an error there then. I thought the king in the quarantine was of, um... I forgot the name of it again. Uh, I keep thinking Blooming Down and Doomy Down. It's not like Brigadoon. There we go. Let's return into the Empire because this is funny. This was once the British people. No, it was the seat of the kingdom, the original king of Palace. I couldn't remember that for my life. He's still in the Oh wow, well, another shot animation. Oh god, that's probably the worst one yet. Right, the next quest though. This should be a bit more interesting. Now I fully believe that the king in the quarantine was of Brigadoon. He was like the lost king of Brigadoon. But no, he's the lost king of Coffinwell, which used to be the Kitish Empire. I'm really just hanging around. I don't think she wants to move on, to be honest. Doesn't want to pass on to the afterlife. So, hang around for them. It's lovely. Oh, I had some more ideas about what the final step is. So, uh, stick with this one for now. Right, he's moved position. Pops in the green. Yes, I'll steal something back from someone. The new king of Earth. Give us a clue. Traumanator! Right, um, I haven't got steel yet. I don't know if I've got the skill points for it. I should do, yeah. Right, let's give everyone steel then. Right, that's that done. Now let's head off to fight the Traumanator. See if we can get lucky with another bit of less reading. So I think with this one he's got a normal steel, and then the second one is the quest item. So this might take a fair few tries. Let's before we miss that one. This is where having a bit of deafness would actually come in quite handy. I don't think you can ever steal the 2% bro. It'd be good if you could. 
But I don't think that does increase the chances of it being yeah, either. Oh, we're still. That was it. Okay, we're done. Right. Let's finish off this dick. That sounds a bit gay. Fingers crossed we spoon another cheeky drop and get the boots as well. <laughs> Not that they're all that good, but they complete the set and they get that I need another hill now. Giga Slash seems to be quite a good ability for a Traumanator. I don't know if it's any good for characters. I sim down. Go on, give us some boots, please. Mm. We're also successfully stolen. Job done. Right, um, back to quarantine. <laughs> I was going to say back to Bloomingdale, and then I went Doomingdale. <laughs> but it's not even the place. I could... Why do I keep forgetting the name of that place? <laughs> Brigger Doom, that's it. <laughs> I think it's because Bloomingdale has got like, all the same letters in. Ish. I'm not even close, but <laughs> it sounds similar-ish. I just keep forgetting the place of this. Right, I have your seal. So this is the lost king of what Gittingham used to be. But it's now coffin there. The trauma there. There you go. Let's hand over this, see he, if he can remember who he is. If he was head of the house of Git. But he still can't remember his name. Oh, Catholic and Rune. I just remembered. <laughs> That's what you get for this quest. I think that is a bloody good um, accessory. I think that's, it basically just gives quite a lot of protection against everything. Let's do something like here. Let's go and find the blighter and give him what for. Oh, where's he gone? Alright, let's have a look at this then. But I think this might be quite good. Yeah, a whole range of undesirable effects. I think it just basically resists loads of shit. So that's definitely going straight on. I can't remember, I don't, well I don't know if that's a best in slot thing. I mean, the lucky pendant gives evasion chance, so that must be quite good. Must be quite, that must be quite good as well. So I've got that on Edward at the moment. That's three percent evasion chance, I think. I think it must differ when, depending on what legacy boss you're doing. Because against Murdor, you're going to want a sober ring or Catholican, because he just blinds you otherwise. Right, the final quest of this episode will be the final one of the Stormway line, which is, I think. Uh, at Gittin Palace. I think it's requested by our old foe. There he is, I went straight past him. There he is. It'd be the ghost of Gorbsy Purvis. Can you tell me a tale? Hell bent on pursuing his dream of world domination. He was the king, his father was alive. What was he purpose is honourable? Urged him to not to kill his father. We purloined Corvus's power and used it to build an imperious empire. So what is that implying? Is that implying that Godwin stole Corvus's power or Corvus gave him the power? Godwin, where the devil are you boy? Right, okay, so this king is the father of Godwin. King Godwin is no more, yes. Aquila killed him. It's his son. Condemned to purgatory. Let our old poor king to rest at last. He's such an honourable enemy. I do love him. There you go. Person skillful enough to best me about. He's beaten me more times than I've beaten him. The throne room beyond. He outperforms even King Godwin in combat. I don't remember this boss fight at all. So I don't really know what to expect here. Are we fighting Godwin's father? The Lost King? I do not know. <laughs> I literally have no memory of this boss fight, is he? I presume he's going to be a reskin of something else, because most of the quest bosses are. Is it going to be a reskin of King Godwin? 
I'm excited. I think this is the finale as well. I'm gonna to have to go through the like check through the quests again because there's a lot marked story, which I don't really know what they are. But yeah, I really want to restore Brigadier Doom. Remember that time. I really want to see it. Like I don't think it does get repaired. A because well, most, mostly game coding reasons. Right. What are we gonna find in it? Oh, it is a reskin of King Godwin. <laughs> I don't know. King Godwin. Right. Uh, yeah, we're here. Alright. Well, ambiance dictates we must pause the music from the wrong game. What's he gonna say? It's exactly like King Godwin. Right, uh, I've lost the battle music. <laughs> there we go. King Godfrey, there we go. So he's, uh, he's probably the right force here, I'm guessing. I presume this is going to be quite a similar battle to Godwin. If he uses fire, it might be weak. I don't know if that's right, but I'm going to stick with that because it's more than that. It doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. Uh, no, I'll just add John the phone. I know we're a bit overpowered for this, so the fights aren't exactly epic. Yeah, he's very good. Six, yeah. Yeah, it should be nice to do. As I say, next episode we'll unlock the Legacy Boss Max and then I'll level up Baron Master's level. We should be able to do him a level next time. Right, Rage to J. A thousand? He's got no chance. I should have everyone attack, why not? We'll win easily. Nothing. Nothing. Job done. King Godfrey is defeated. So I think I'm reading that right in that he is Godwin's father. Gish people, yeah. There you go, yeah. So Godwin is his son. Godfrey, there you go, he's remembered his name now. Is Godwin going to appear or do I reveal that I've killed him? Yep, I killed him. Me and Aquila. Now we can rest. <laughs> there we go, that was... Well, it kind of implied at the start that the king was an honourable fellow. But also, he's the exact same monster that Godwin is. So, right, let's go back to the best song of all time. Lovely. And uh, now we can go and speak to Purvis. It's going to be a sad this, I'm going to wish my old enemy goodbye. We had many uh, an epic battle. It would be the episode before the final boss, I think, episode 13. We, we fought many times, and he won most of them. He's at peace at last. Lonely person, solitary king. Disapprove an appropriate conversation. Alien Regale, I think that's an accessory. Ooh, sight swiper. Ooh, more um this is the that's the shield, the helmet. Gloves and the boots. I can't remember what stage that is. That might be stage two of the. That's probably stage three of the stuff, isn't it? And there he goes. My arch enemies. <laughs> Enemy and nemesis, there you go. My arch enemies has been 
laid to rest. And I think with that, that is the end of both the Quester's Rest and the Stormway quest lines. I'm going to have a look through to double check, because it is somewhat unsatisfactory that Brigadoom never gets restored. At least I don't think it does. But I will check. But until then, next episode we're going to go through all the quests, unlock all the legacy bosses. We're not going to attempt them at the highest level just yet. So we'll see only level 15. There is a lot of Metal King slime grinding to do. But until then, hope you all have a good time, and I'll see you then. Peace.